Um, we have a lot of stuff to go through. We have a lot of requests for snow products. So instead of highlighting summer and spring items, we're gonna, we've actually picked out our favorite stuff from this past winter, or some of our favorite stuff from this last mm -hmm. winter. It's kind of fun. Yeah. It was kind of fun. Um, but before we dive into Michelle's picks and my picks, uh, we're gonna talk about five, five major things. The first one, we have a 48 hour board short sale mm -hmm. because spring is coming, coming around. It's I, here. Spring's here. It, yeah, spring's here. It's like <laughs> 75 today. I know. It's really nice. It's supposed to be... You said it was supposed to rain tomorrow? On Saturday. On Saturday. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. It's going to be gross. Whatever. I know. I've, uh, I've started to run and bike more. I am ready for swimsuit season. i got to find some... i got to find some board shorts now. Not ready. Not ready? <laughs> no, you'll be fine. Uh, free shipping. If you're going to buy a bike, you should buy a mountain bike. I should buy a mountain bike. If you do buy but a I mountain bike... But I wouldn't need the shipping, though, so... Yeah, <laughs> but you could. You could have it. You could have free shipping brought, bring the bike to your house. <laughs> because with uh, with bikes, we are now doing free shipping. I believe that ends on the thirtieth of May. Oh wow! June is almost here. Yeah. Gosh, that's scary. Um, we have a preseason summer sale, up to seventy percent off summer goods and items. What do you need for summer? I feel like I feel like you. you what do think I about, need? Yeah, I feel like summer? I'm actually preset. Preset. Yeah, I don't... What about a lightweight North Face windbreaker? Uh, well, I had tried that one out in the shower room this morning. That was really cute. The That's Fanarac. The Fanarac light, just like really, really light jacket for like bonfires or like... It's kind of like a raincoat too. Um, right. I really liked that. Do you know what? Bonfires. 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 I love bonfires. Mm -hmm. But with lightweight jackets like that, mm -hmm. that's scary around a bonfire. Really? Yeah, you get little, little ambers. I ambers, guess. ambers, yeah, I like floating too much. You know that's scary. Otherwise, I wear a flannel. Although, yeah, but, flannel. I mean, something. that would that would also burn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was bumped last summer uh, at a bonfire, mm -hmm. back backyard. I had my Patagonia running shorts on, brand new Patagonia running shorts. I was smoking a cigar because that's what you do after you run. Okay. And uh, I burnt my shorts. Like I was just like resting my resting my hand like Ooh. this or whatever burn my shorts yikes bummer what the heck i should have worn cotton shorts apparently apparently like these i could have worn these <laughs> so here's a story about these pants okay if any of you guys want to know um i had this exact same pair uh -huh. i donated them because I, I wasn't really i didn't really like him and then uh, i ordered these things i forgot that i had them and i put them on and was like oh my gosh no way same pants these ones have a little bit of stretch, though. I do think about that a lot too, because like <laughs> I've I've had a lot of stuff like from my mom, as like a like I wouldn't call it hand me down because it's my mom's stuff, like vintage Calvin Klein jacket, like, <laughs> like a Gap. It's like stuff from like Gap that like stayed classic, and I'm right. like, this is awesome. Or there'll be like really nice brands, like designer stuff that mm. I'll keep, and it's now 10, 20, 30 years later, and I'm like, right. what should I keep, like? What if I have a daughter in like thirty years? I'm like, oh my god, I Dude. wish I would have kept that for you, or I just like. Right. Stay in the same shape forever, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, and I can still wear something like when it comes back in style 30 years from now. Right. Like, what do you keep and not keep? Ooh, your classics. But keep like, the what classics. What if all you buy is classics? Keep it all. Exactly. <laughs> uh. I don't know. That jean jacket, that Cal is Calvin Klein you said? Yeah. That Calvin Klein jean jacket is Like I'll dope. always keep that. But like I just I have a hard time like, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Consult with the internet. They'll let I you will. know. Thanks, internet. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, keep the classic. It's good to have classic. Gotta have white polo. Mm -hmm. That's like one, right? Yeah. Gotta have Ray Ban glasses. Gotta have a dog. Mm -hmm. oh. It's classic. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, preseason summer sale. You don't need anything. That's good. Congrats. Because um, I stock. I literally bought so much here last summer. I bought all like the Birkenstocks and the like all the women's clothes. Right. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. No. How about a, do you need a wake surfer? I want a I want a paddleboard. Want a paddleboard? Yeah, but in terms of like clothing and stuff, I don't. Mm. You can wear it as an accessory. Paddleboard? Carry, yeah, carry it's it inflatable, around. so I could deflate it and just use right. it as a blanket in my car, as like an emergency blanket. It's a good idea, mm. right? Yeah, you just roll yourself up like a burrito. Exactly. Emergency burrito. Halloween costume. Yes. What are you? <laughs> I'm an inflatable stand-up paddleboard and a burrito. Pretty good idea. Uh, the reason I asked if you needed a surfer is 
because we're doing 50% Casual. off select. It's nice segue, right? Transition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing 50% off select uh, wake surfers, which is pretty great. And then lastly, we have a bunch of new Volcom and Salty Crew stuff coming in. Mm-hmm. And it's like already arriving. So uh, make sure to check out the links. We'll put those in the description of the videos or in the comment section on Facebook. Um, if you follow us on Facebook, thank you or like us and and on YouTube, thanks for that. Subscribe. Subscribe, Subscribe. to the channels. Subscribe. Hit that smash that like button. That's what I'm supposed to say. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, Michelle. Yes. What else? Uh, you want you want to jump right into it? I don't know. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Sure. What do you? How about this? What are you most excited for? Uh, in terms of summer. Oh my god, all of it. Literally all of it. I don't know. You know how Minnesotans are in the summertime? It's like, wintertime is like mm. one thing, and then in the summer, it's like everything is amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, just but everything is Dude, incredible. Everything's great. So, walking, running, biking, just the you being you outside. You do not walk in the winter? Not how do you get around in the winter? Not a ton. Do you float? I float. I levitate. So, <laughs> so as to not touch the That's snow. That's whoa. But, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, going on walks, like, with your dog. Like, you can right. go further. Right. Like, paddle boarding and, yeah, just, like, being by the lakes in Minneapolis is True. It's just the best. True. It's so nice. Yeah, it is nice being outside. Just having the animals, like, letting my dogs out and the pigs. Let them run around like crazy. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Does the internet know about your pigs? What? Does the internet know about your pigs? I don't know. I've, I've got two pigs. Yeah, I've got, got, a, I've got a pot belly and I have a cooney cooney. Petunia and Lily. <laughs> Petunia's like six and really grumpy. <laughs> and Lily is like you should 10 take months old. The people on tour of your like like land we, and we, like your pigs. Yeah, we'll Scott Scott and I we're gonna do a, uh we're gonna do some product video reviews in my backyard with, with the animals. <laughs> I'm gonna review my pig. Yes. So you're gonna seem like a farmer, dude. Right. <laughs> uh, but you're right. No, like summer, summer stuff. Summer in Minnesota is really tight. Um, We're like stoked a whole on new that. People. We're a whole new people. We are a whole new people. Still pasty, some of us. Hey, so, okay, how about this? You you live in Uptown. So Michelle lives in, in Uptown area, right? Yes. Uh, there's a lot of lakes. There's, there's Calhoun, there's Harriet, Lake the Isles, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, you were just talking about a stand-up paddleboard, an inflatable one. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have an inflatable or a like a hard, hard top? I would rather have a hard top. Okay. Um, I just think they're slightly more stable. Yeah. Um, but I have a studio apartment and I cannot fit a hard top in there. Most apartments, even if you have a really big apartment, you can't fit it like through the hallways and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think a fl- in inflatable is a really nice option. Right. You don't have to deal with like roof racks or anything like. It's just so right. convenient. Right. So. Right. I, I do have to say the convenience definitely outweighs the, the amount of effort and time it takes to pump one of those things up. Because it takes like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I was just constantly like. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> helps you get, you have to get in shape too. Yeah, exactly. Right. Perfect. All right, let's dive in. So okay. we're doing winter stuff for you guys because all you guys want to see winter stuff. It. Yeah. What do you want to see? What do you want to see? All you gotta say is winter. winter Actually, stuff. no, you never respond to what do you want to see. You just complain when we talk about summer <laughs> stuff. So here's the snow. You You've want. got some nice pics, and you, again, <laughs> you you did a good job at color coordinating stuff. It's a motif. Gotta motif. be fashionable. So this is the K2 Fashion. Limelight. I think I've talked about this on here before, honestly. I think you did. Um, this I brought the next year version to Lutzen Minnesota Resort. Um, just a couple weeks ago, and I love this board. Um, I've also tried it at Demo Days. Uh, camber twin flex, or a, and a medium flex twin shape, and it's just a really like comfortable, confident ride. It's mm. pr- it's easy going enough, um, like it's really comfortable and easy to maneuver, but it feels super confident. You can go super fast on this. So yeah. this is my pick. It's good for the park. Um, it's good for just like all mountain riding, not necessarily a pow board, um, but I love it. Heck I yeah. love this board. K2 right. Limelight. K2 Limelight. Yeah. And it's a it's a Goodwood Award winning board and mm-hmm. it features a three year warranty. Mm-hmm. Pretty dope. Important. Especially if it's a park board. Especially if it's a park board. Mm-hmm. And it's got an extruded base too, so it's pretty low maintenance. Cool. That's mm-hmm. that's nice. Yes. And it fits into a studio apartment. It does. I mean You don't have to roll it up. Most snowboards will fit. I mean they're flat. So. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's ever flat. done that. A roll up snowboard? Save space. Inflatable snowboard. Maybe. What is life? Hey, round to something. Inflatable <laughs> snowboard. We're gonna make one of those. 
Uh, my first pick is uh, a board called the LibTech or Lib Technologies. Oh, hi. T Rice Pro. Travis Rice, hey, you want to come visit me? Uh, it's a Travis Rice Pro. Uh, this is a great, well rounded, kind of all mountain, bigger mountain board. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a park board, but it's definitely an all mountain freestyle deck. Uh, it has a uh, what's called a hybrid profile shape. So it means there's rocker in between your feet to keep the board nice and loose and kind of surfy. And then there's camber underneath each foot to the contact points for a little bit more of an aggressive bite, more pop and stuff. But for the most part, if you set it on the snow, it'll teeter totter just a little bit because of that rocker section. Uh, Travis Rice is one of the most well decorated snowboarders in the universe. Great guy. He knows how to ride deep power really well. And this is one of the boards that he does it on. The LibTech T-Rice Pro HP horsepower version. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't Actually? Know. Yeah, it's, it's got plenty of poplar wood, Bi-X fiberglass with bio beans top, and then Tri-X on bottom with a center base. So it's fast. It's fast. Fast. Light and fast. That's my number one pick. I the graphics is dope. It little, is. It's really little cool. Little polar bear. Yeah, it's really like vibrant. It's super It vibrant. is. Right. You got a little miner. Do you see that guy? Mm -hmm. A little prospect right there? Yeah, you really can't see that when it's in the plastic. I'm realizing I've only yeah. seen it in the plastic now. Yeah, it's good. Good shape. Cool. Number uno. When you say numero. <laughs> so the, these I've talked about a million times before uh, <laughs> uh, because I love them. I've, I've ridden them for a couple years now and I like them a lot. It's the Burton Lexa bindings. Um, however, the ones that I was kind of torn because I was thinking about my bindings and then I realized that they have a new toe cap on this. The updated 2.0. I like it so much better than the ones that I have on my Lexa bindings. It's just right. a little bit too stiff. So I think with the upgraded toe cap, this is kind of like a no brainer for my favorite. Uh, the Ankle strap here is super comfortable. That definitely is the most comfortable ride for me here. The updated toe cap, toe cap kind of fixed any of the complaints that I did have about it before. Super high quality ratchets, been years, no problems. And it's got the double sided too, so it's super durable and long lasting. Um, they're really comfortable for a full day's ride and it's got that medium flex in the back, so it's comfortable for whatever kind of riding you're doing. They're just, boom. they're just awesome. Yeah. Now, this, this option is the reflex option. Can yeah, you mount so, these on Burton boards and all other boards or just Burton? Yeah, you can mount these on everything. They'll be compatible with Burton's EST or channel system. Um, so that's just the line that you see on Burton's. They'll be compatible with those, but if you just decide to have like a K2 board or a LibTech board, these will also be compatible with those. So cool. just kind of a safe bet, safe just bet. in case you don't want a Burton board. Yeah. And it comes in black comes in black. There's a couple other colors too, but I kind of wanted to match the board and this matched the board, I think the best, mm. especially since I did pick a pink boot, which we'll mm. talk about, but I just thought, yeah. That's a trending black color. Black would be, it'd work, yeah. Right, good job. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my second pick is, uh, I'll do these ones, because you talked about mining, so I'm gonna <laughs> talk about mining. Uh, this is the workhorse of the Union line. This is called the Force. It's been around since 1872, which is a really long time. Um, it, just no, I haven't. Um, but this is this has been a binding that that has done really well for for Union. Um, it kind of matches the board, uh, not necessarily in colorway, but in style of riding. Um, it's kind of an all mountain freestyle deck. A lot of people ride this in the park um, if they're not on the Union Contact Pro. Um, usually they'll probably be on this. So medium style stiff, super tall high back, lots of padding along the backside, and then of course underneath your foot with that full bed of EVA. Um, this is a, you really can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, this is really comparable to the Burton Mission. Um, and it's at a really good price point too, which is, mm -hmm. which is nice. So that's my second pick, the Union Force. Comes in a bunch of colorways, thumbs up. Also like, right. kind of a no brainer with that one. It's so popular and well received by people. Right, right. If you don't want to look like a doofus out there on the hill, if you want to be a poser, <laughs> Get one of these. <laughs> I don't know. The best take. If, you, if you want to know what, you, if you want to look like you know what you're doing, that's so wrong. Uh, if you want to look like you know what you're doing, <laughs> if you want to be cool force. like Guff, yeah. get these. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be cool like me, <laughs> get these. <laughs> oh my god, I love that yeah. colorway though. I think it's really that's cool. funny. Yeah, it's I like that. Like, All of it's nice. I know we spend a lot of time like trying to figure out colors, but like what to call a color. Honestly, what would you call that color? I don't know. Not I'm olive? realizing that I no, I wouldn't. I think it's no. like mintier than olive is. Mintier than olive. 
I mean, I, sh I just got new glasses. I should be. No, should I'm know. like a little colorblind. What do you think, Scott? What color? Oh, yeah, that's true. What, <laughs> what color do you think that is? I, I see a mint, though. It's a little minty. It's a minty olive. Yeah, like, that's olive. Good. Or, or maybe like forest green. Forest green? I you think so? It's deep enough. Yeah, that seems pretty like, light. Than, I like olive. Olive? Is Maybe it, a mint is olive. Is it olive classically or is it minty olive? Like an no, olive that just like brushed its classically. teeth. Maybe See, this olive. is like... <laughs> my it's an olive that just brushed its teeth. Yeah, it's like I a mint olive. Colors. Yeah, yep. Mm, See? Okay. See what we did? Mm -hmm. I know this is pink. <laughs> nope. It is. What? It is. Okay, it's I a nice like pink believed too. you for it. I know, this is... Yeah. What did Abby call it at lunch today? Millennium pink? Didn't yeah, realize that was a thing today. And then I was like, that's a pink. good that's a good way of calling it. This is the 32 lash. I've also talked about this before. Um, medium flexing boot that's super comfortable and super reliable with the traditional lace. But the thing that I think kind of sets this boot aside is what I realized when I put it on, even without like riding it or anything, is that the heel hold is amazing. It really, really secures your heel on there. And I have super tiny ankles, so it's perfect. And it also just kind of diminished like any amount of heel lift at that point mm. um and it made it feel a little bit more responsive at the top and throughout the boot too because it kind of just like came up from there otherwise sometimes i feel like in my boot i can't always get it perfect mm. with like the speed laces and everything like they're comfortable but i think this just kind of like hits that that spot that i usually have have trouble right. with right. so 32 lash in millennium pink and apparently i would, millennium rock. Pink. I would I know. rock this Aren't they color cool? right I'd rock a full kit like this, head to toe, let's go. <laughs> who's, who's doing that next year? <laughs> Apparently you. Right? I, I, I am. <laughs> I am. No, I think, I think I might do something like that next year. Go like one color, do mono. It's coming color? back. That's a thing. You know? That's what the showroom kids did. They both had that full blue ugly oh, yeah. outfit. What's his name? Isaac. Yeah. Isaac he looks like a blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> he looks fresh too. I know. He's like a really cool blueberry. You see him when he came in the other day? Dude, Probably. so we had this one of our shop shop dudes, Isaac. He's a high school kid. I think he was going to prom or something. Got prom on Saturday. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he uh, he just did his tux fit, fitting, and he came in with this like blue blue tux, and he looked fresh, he looked cool. Mm -hmm. He was like finding stuff to wear, like sunglasses Funny. and stuff. Hmm. Blue. Uh, my third pick is a good one because I like judging people. No, you don't. He's I, actually not very judgy. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not that judgy. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, but this is the DC Judge snowboard boot. It's a double boa. Two separate systems. Uh, one that controls the upper. One that controls the lower zone. This is a really, really stiff boot. It has uh, DC's premier liner. It's called the Black. Custom heat moldable, of course. Um, this is a rugged, rugged boot. It's kind of similar to the DC uh, Travis Rice, but maybe not as wild. It does have the V-Room outsole, of course, uh, EVA midsole. So it's really good rubber tread, um, but it's really not that heavy for how much kind of stuff and tech is in here. Mm -hmm. And another really cool thing that a lot of people overlook is uh, the Aerotech uh, ventilation system, both on the liner uh, on the liner and on the shell too. So sometimes you, in snowboard boots, your feet can overheat if they're really good boots. Not gonna be the case here because there's good circulation. So this is the DC Judge. Cool. Brady Lem, where is it? We got a picture of Brady Lem somewhere. Yeah. Is that him up there? Is that uh, Brady? <laughs> to Jesse? your right, to your right. Oh yeah, he's right there. Um, probably can't see it from there. Um, he ride, he's a really, really good freestyle rider and he rides this boot, which is a stiff, stiff snowboard boot, which is so crazy. Because mm -hmm. like Justin Fronius, another local Minnesotan, rides the Mutiny boot and that's like pretty dang soft. And this one's like... Go with what you like. You got, yeah. There's like general rules and then like once you get to a certain point, there's, no, the more, there's no more rules. Because it's just no like, this is what I like to ride. That's right. DC Judge, love it. So this is a jacket that I have um, like last year's version on and I really, really like it. I'm continuing to love it. It's the 686 Ceremony insulated jacket. So it's got a decent amount of insulation, but you can still wear it on like kind of springy days. It's not overly insulated, but it's also very like loose fitting. So you can um, layer up a little bit more on like really, really cold days. It does have powder skirt, all that jazz with 10K waterproofing. Um, and 10k breathability, so it's pretty comfortable that way too. Just like with some light snow and, and rain, and dogs like it. 
Um, and then there's ventilation here, and then there's tons of storage. Like, there's a pocket on the inside, um, on the chest, which I always put my phone in, and then you have two pockets on the side that are zippered, and then two Velcro pouches. So everything will stay pretty secure as long as you remember to zip it up because I lost my phone at Buck Hill in this jacket, but I found it immediately. So Dude. zip up your pockets. Uh, the fur <laughs> is removable, and I don't know. I think this this jacket is just like this this profile with like a little bit longer in the back and kind of that loose fit has definitely become my favorite. Right. Is your favorite snowboard jacket? Yeah, it is yeah. because I think like it just transitioned well from being a snowboarding jacket to just like a regular streetwear jacket too, right. pretty comfortably. Yeah. And the gradient's kind of cool too, I like black gradient. sleeves, dark purple top, and it gets like lighter color purple. Yeah, because you can still wear like the dark, which like stays clean and just mm -hmm. kind of seems timeless, but right. it's not just like straight black. So. Right. And I like the color of the zippers too. It's like a kind of like a brass almost. Mm -hmm. It's good. Brassy. Um, Brassy, some brassy. Brassy, like brassy. sassy. Uh, this is my pick. Uh, this is my jacket pick. This is the Vulcan Prospect. Um, comes in three different colorways. This is the olive and kind of red. It's a simple uh, silhouette jacket. There's three po exterior pockets, two hand warming pockets, one chest pocket, uh, pit zips, of course. Um, and there's actually a decent amount of insulation. I think there's about 40, really? 40 to 60 grams of insulation. Kind of like that. Yeah. Um, Vulcan, Vulcan has been making some awesome snowboard clothes for a really long time. You look at their team, they're all like, you know, premier level riders. Yeah. And uh, they make really, really good products. And their products span like a wide range of price points too. So even even though this is like like top tier jacket, the price point really isn't that high, mm -hmm. which is actually really cool. So this is it. This is the prospect from Vulcan. Definitely, definitely dig this one. I d usually don't go with kind of like earthy tones. You never pick earthy I don't really tones. wear earthy tones that much. Um, but I really like I really like the olive kind of red. Okay, what combo. color is this? Is this a tr this is a true olive then? I'd say that's a true. I think olive. this is true olive. Yeah. Right. Scott's weighing in. This is true olive. Yeah, that's true. They chimed in. Uh, <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of color opinions. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm like colorblind a little bit, but mm. I like feel strongly about it because I'm like, please tell me I'm right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so a... last one here is the six eight six standard shell pant. Again, uh, with the name, it kind of describes it. It is a pretty standard snow pant. Mm -hmm. It is just a shell, so it's meant for layering with 5K um, breathability and 5K waterproofing. So it's kind of meant for like any type of riding. It's again, it's a loose fit, so you can wear it in those spring days. And like when you're super hot, you can unzip the vents or you can layer up with this with that loose fit for like the super, super cold weather and still be pretty protected. Um, mm -hmm. And I like this color too with that jacket. I thought it just worked well right but it's right. like it's light but it's not so light that it would get super dirty but it has mm. super long zippers on the side which i like because oh, otherwise cool. like sometimes when you're like sitting on the chairlift or something if your like zippers aren't long enough you can't get to things right so i like they did that dude one thing i just noticed that i've never These noticed are only a hundred bucks like that's hundred awesome. dollars it's a good pan for a hundred bucks what did you is notice? this okay so all pants on their on their gator yeah have this little belt tab or yeah. a little little tab for your laces. So you hook this on your laces so the gator doesn't pull up, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and I've done this a couple, actually quite a few times, when you put your pants on, you can catch your toenail on this thing. That sucks. That sucks. 686 put a little little what? fabric thing over the top of it so that doesn't happen. But boy, don't you have oh. socks on when you now you Well you can sometimes you can you know you can still kind of Catch it? How no. long are your toenails, oh. girl? Dude, not long. I get pedicures and manicures. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> um, but dude, like that is smart. That is smart. That is so smart. That is the kind of thing where people who actually snowboard and ski should be designing snowboard and ski That's right. clothing. That's because right. Because they know what they, they need. know. Yeah, they know. Someone, it's someone important. props to 686 for that little, little thing. Right. That's cool. All right. Uh, and then... And then I got these. Now, last time I wore khaki, khaki snowboard pants was in 82. 82? Um, no, that was, it was like one. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, but there's something about these, and I think it might be the fabric I that like I like. I like khaki, I think it's cool. Yeah, this is a, the Burton uh, Cargo Classic snowboard pant. Doesn't get any more kind of like, like straight, like straight lace than this. Mm -hmm. Cargo pockets. Right and left side, they have a 
a bonus pocket up on top, full zippers. Yeah, yeah this is like a this is a legit snowboard pair of snowboard pants. Yeah, overall really really good. And uh, I I always wear cargo pants. I have to. I've noticed that. Yeah, just because I, I like, like the khaki though. I think khaki's cool. You like khaki? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, maybe I'll do it all brown next year. Okay. Oh, khaki. Be like, the khaki man. Who's the khaki man over there? Let's go. <laughs> uh, uh, but no, cargo pockets, man. Definitely way to go. You can keep your snacks in there. Hand warmers. All the snacks. All the snacks. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's, uh, that's, that's my grouping of picks. You need some good ones. I, like, I think I like yours better than mine. Well, mine just worked better cohesively. Right. I think I just, I was really right. like focused on making like a whole cute setup. Because it's mm -hmm. like, I don't actually have to like buy all this stuff. Because like... When you're buying everything, it's kind of hard to be like, well, my boots need to match my... Right. No, because it's like, I don't have the money to like right. partition it. So I figured right. like, all these items are amazing individually, but like if mm -hmm. I'm going to showcase one grouping, it's cool that they matched. I like it. Thing. Good job. Good <laughs> job. Mine just kind of a random sort of whatever. <laughs> but these, I think these are my favorite ones that I picked. Mm -hmm. The fours. Which one's your favorite pick? The board. I'm gonna buy it next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you the limelight? Yeah. You like it that much? Well, it's the end of season, so like I feel like since I put my boards away, like I can't like take them back out and like put another board in my board bag. But right. like, I really, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. Good idea. Good. <laughs> what size would you ride? Um. 46? 145, 146, yeah, somewhere yeah, in that grouping. Yeah. I have a 147 and I like it, but I think with a camera, I prefer just slightly smaller. You're right. Than right. my more flat one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Well, awesome. Michelle, thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. That was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> that was a good time. Um, and we're going to be back on Monday. Yes, we are. Monday. Mm -hmm. It's a big day. Monday is a big day, guys. Monday is a big day. Make sure to tune in on Monday. Uh, we're going to be announcing some some stuff. Uh, and some and we'll things. Be going, some things. And we'll be talking about maybe what should we pick next week. What should we pick next week? Yeah. What are the people saying? Um, they're asking random questions. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It's like, kid wants to know about Kappa the DOA. I I'll let you know if they talk about picks yeah. for next week. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, but again, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you follow us on uh, uh, Facebook and, and YouTube, of course, uh, make sure to check out the links in the description or the captions. Uh, we're going to put links to the 48-hour board short sale, the free shipping to all bikes, which is pretty epic, the preseason summer sale of up to 70% off, mm -hmm. the up to 50% off select wake surfers, and uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff happening. So <laughs> thanks for being here. Michelle, good job. Thank you. Cool. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Have a good week.